Okay, so pick a number from one through five. Three. Okay. That's how many times I'm going to cut your card. Just, just to get your energy into the card. So, all right, so the first card that came out is your situation. So we have the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords represents you in this reading. Um, basically, you are not dealing with any bullshit no more. You're demanding your authority. Um, you're being a bit cold-hearted, but not cold-hearted as far as like being mean or anything like that. Just straight to the point, you mean business. All right, and then what crosses the situation is you have the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups talks about um, improvement feeling pleased so basically this is you kind of setting everything the way you want it organizing everything the way you want it you're telling people what you're willing to deal with what you're not willing to deal with and you're actually pleased with your decisions um, then we have your unconscious influences so these are the things that are behind the scenes we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles talks about money improvement. Um, talks about money coming your way. So you have, you know, you have money coming your way. So basically with you setting everything up and you putting all your ducks in a row and you're putting people in their place. Also, this, you know, the universe is, is opening doors for you as far as money goes. So in your past, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Um, the Ace of Pentacles also talks about um, money coming your way. But this is basically where in the past you were manifesting money, where you were kind of, um, you know, thinking about what you want. Then we have in your conscious influences. So these are the things that are on your mind. We have the Knight of Cups. So... The Knight of Cups talks about needing more confidence. So in your mind, you feel like you need um, to ground yourself more. You need more confidence. Um, basically, whether that you, you telling yourself affirmations every single day that, you know, I look beautiful um, you, you're starting to eat right, exercise, um, doing everything that you need to do to get your confidence back. So that's what your, that's, that's basically in your conscious influences. So you're conscious about doing that. Now in your near future, we have the three of wands. The, re, the three of wands talks about traveling over land. Um, this may be you taking a vacation, this may be, um, you kind of like getting away a little bit, um, just kind of like in the near future, like taking a break and, you know, going somewhere near water, um, traveling somewhere. Then we have in your emotions, we have the justice card. The Justice card talks about legal situations, documents. Um, this could be you deciding to go to the courts and establish um, something, structuring something. This could be meaning um, getting 
what basically spirit is telling me getting what what is yours making sure everything is in place for you to move on because you are structuring everything you are making sure that everything is in line so this also goes with the courts as well this could mean you, you drawing up documents to make sure everything goes out the way you, it's supposed to be so you don't have to worry about um, doing it later on and you're saying like um, just being responsible and doing the right thing is what they're saying um, your outside influences so your outside influences is your family friends influences um, so we have the judgment card so the judgment card talks about decisions pending the only decision that can be made under the circumstances so for this to be in your family and friends section basically is saying that whatever decision that you decide to make or this decision that you did decide to make your family and friends is going to be behind you they're going to support you um yeah they're supporting your decision and in your hopes and dreams you have the queen of cups um you do want to be what you are but at this moment you're like taking care of business right now so that's why at first you have the queen of swords because the queen of swords is cold cold hearted and demanding your hopes and dreams we have the queen of cups the queen of cups is more sensitive she's more soft she's more gentle she's more um, motherly you want to um eventually get back to that you want to get back to being the queen of cups um you know doing girly things you know um just being more like girly and more soft and gentle and um compassionate and supportive and then in your outcome we have the knight of pentacles so pentacles is about money now the knight of pentacles is basically a messenger so there's going to be some type of messenger regarding money and with the message with it so that is your tarot reading you have any questions about any cards So knights are messengers, right? So pinnacles are money. So you have the knight of pinnacles. So that means that there's going to be some person that's going to come to you with the pinnacle, like a gift. Somebody's going to come in your like your outcome. So as long as you stay structured and you stay disciplined about what you're doing right now and stick to what you're doing your outcome of all of this is going to be some type some person a person is going to come to you with a money offer to give you money a gift if that makes sense it does <laughs> right um they're telling me this also they're saying that with this judgment card and your emotions and you know, not judgment, the justice card. Um, they're saying that to make sure you do child support because they're saying that you can't trust a person to do what they're supposed to do and their responsibility. And, you know, you have two children, they have to be taken care of not to be spiteful or bitter it's just making sure that things get done the way it's supposed to get done 
and saying that it's just only right for your children. So you have any more questions? No. All right, so then we're gonna go into your love reading. Hold on, I just had a car fly away. Right. All right. So with the Romance Angels card, I'm going to let it tell a story. So I'm going to pull 10 cards to tell a story. Oops. Okay, cards are flying out. So the first card is passion. So it says, allow your heart and your soul to sing with joy. So that's your first card. Then we have, second card is codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life so I, what they're telling me is with this relationship is with this person you don't have to worry about looking in their phone you don't have to worry about wondering where they are you can really do your own thing Meaning, you know, go to the gym and do you and go out with the girls. And this person is going to be understanding to that you have a separate life from his life. But he also lives his life like that as well. So not to be so codependent with this person. Which follows the next card, which it says, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So they're saying like, don't really try to figure out so much um, and look too, too deep into this person. Um, they're really who they are, who they say they are. Um, kind of like let everything unfold naturally. Then the next card says, very soon. And it says, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So that's basically spirit telling you to figure out what is it exactly that you want? Do you want to see if this person can work? Or do you want to just keep this person as a friend? Either way, it's okay. It's all about what you want right now. Um, they're saying that you can have whatever you want. So if it is this person that you want, you can have them. If you don't really want them like that and they're just somebody to pass the time, you can keep them as a friend if you want. 
um the next card it says honeymoon it says enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so this person you guys are going to spend the holidays together so that's thanksgiving christmas maybe memorial day you're going to start um you know hanging out with, with each other um you may meet his family he may introduce you to his family if he hasn't already um and they're saying like don't be hesitant about meeting his family like just go with the flow with this person go with the flow with them the next card says heart to heart conversations honesty discuss your feelings with each other so with this person so there is no kind of confusion honest like have a, a, a heart to heart conversation um tell this person what you expect um tell this person um how you really feel about them um if this is hey how how you want them to interact with your children um the seriousness of you having children just a conversation heart to heart conversation put everything out on the table um the next um card says past life relationship you have known each other before so they're saying that this person is a person from a past life you know this person you feel like um you've met this person before it feels very comfortable and very familiar it's very different from anybody you have ever dated it's almost like um like a brother and sister type of relationship like you guys get each other you get each other's jokes you um it's not a hard relationship it's very easy around this person you laugh you have fun um they recognize you for your intellect and also you know your beauty as well but they also they they're intellectual they like they like to talk about what you're thinking and how you're feeling the next card says religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so you guys are going to have something in common when it comes to religion or your spirituality you guys are going to be on the same page when it comes to that it's not going to be like where like he's christian and you're muslim or something like that you guys are going to see eye to eye with how you feel about spirituality or religion and then the last card says chemistry and it says there's a strong magnetic magnetic attraction here and it has a man um, with his arm around the woman and they're looking just looking at like a a ball but you have to see it when you play the video back you'll see what i'm saying but you guys have chemistry together it's just very different from any other relationship that you have been in you guys click you guys understand each other um it's almost seem almost too good to be true but it's not and that is your love reading you have any questions I can't think of anything. Um, do you want to ask the cards anything? <laughs> Am I moving too fast with this person? Like, should I be out of this situation I'm in now before I move like forward with the person? Well, they are saying that with this current situation, you should be structuring everything in order for it, for you to be able to move on. So that's why they're saying, like, whether it's having a conversation and being like, hey, you know, we have children together. So, um, hey, if you want me to drop them off at your mom's house, then I'll do that. You know, when you see your kids, 
um also what they had the justice card you're gonna they're saying that you should go and file for child support to structure that as well um other than that just make it very clear that there is no more you and i to just cut it off and say hey go do you i wish you the best and that's it and then spend some time to yourself to kind of like they're saying that you can be friends with this person the new person but spend some time with yourself for a little bit to kind of like let the old relationship dwindle off and once you feel secure that the old relationship is dwindled off then you can pursue the new relationship more seriously which is going on dates which is talking about you know hey what are we doing like you know but they said let everything happen naturally everything is going to happen organically the way it's supposed to See if a card comes out for that. Let's see. This holiday, this honeymoon card came out again, which says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So that's basically saying that um, around a holiday whichever is the next holiday is when you should seriously start considering this new relationship so whatever is the next holiday so i don't know if that next holiday is memorial day or um fourth of july or father's well not father's day um like memorial day i think is the next holiday so that completes your reading let me see so you have about five minutes left if you want to ask any more questions this person's intentions true and genuine Okay, so the card that came out is flirt and getting to know each other. So they're saying that as you let your guard down, you would see the person's intentions. Yes, this person's intention is genuine. Also, it says getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. So, as you guys start to share, um, like, kind of like personal stuff that you normally don't share with other people, and he's going to share things with you as well, things that he normally don't tell people, you'll be able to see that um, he's very genuine, if he hasn't done that already. person that she can have a long relationship with in the future like in the future 
Is this a long-lasting relationship? Yes, it says, a card that came out says, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, wow. affirmations, and visit visualization help bring you together. This is a person that you have manifest. Wow. So yes, this is, yes. We have about two more minutes if you have any more questions. I don't think I have any other questions. Okay. So we're going to see what other cards come out. So two more cards came out we have the same card it already read already which is flirt so it says extend your light-hearted energy towards others um you know like you know flirt with each other like um like me i'm not a person a holding hands person right but if i wanted a person to oh hold on So the flirt card came out. So I'm not a type of person that likes to hold hands. But if I wanted a person to know that I like them, I would kind of like, you know, hold their hand and like, you know, do things that to let a person know that I like them. Um, the other card that came out says, stay optimistic about your love life. And it says, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So they're saying that, you know, continue to manifest what you want. Um, I would even say to purchase like a rose court necklace, um, a rose court bracelet um, to like draw in that loving energy towards you. But it says stay optimistic. Don't really think that oh this person is really not into me or this person is trying to get something out of me like they're not it's not giving me that energy and these cards are not always great cards like it's some cards in here talk about jealousy um it's cards in here that talk about let me see talks about like finances and career um talks about separation like all of these cards are not like great cards so you actually got all great cards regarding this person like nothing negative came out so yeah so that is that completes your reading so I'm going to go ahead and close everything out and thank your spirit guides and thank my spirit guides for guiding the reading. All right. And um, you're welcome. And um, when I post the video, I will, um, I'll send it to you so you can see it. Okay, no problem. All right. So I appreciate your time and thank you very much. All right, bye-bye.